the reason why a lot of men are drawing a line and saying, I'm not protecting you. Is because to protect you is to sacrifice myself. Hear me out. Hear me out. If I protect you, if I attempt, because there's no protecting you, if I attempt to protect you, I place myself deliberately in harm's way for no reason. If I go out of my way to protect you, let's go into the different layers. I not only risk myself to protect a female that if something shall happen to me, won't give a damn, won't appreciate it, but I directly place myself into some bullshit that I know will absolutely harm me in some way, shape, or form. This is why men are saying, I'm not protecting you. Let's give an example. A lot of females today, I got to make the distinction. I'm not talking about women, females. The females, unfortunately, though, are in abundance. Females today will go into a, I don't know, field of bombs. No matter where you step, you're going to get blown the fuck to bits. Men can tell you all day, every day, hey, don't go, whatever you do, do not go over in that field. It's nothing but bombs over there. If you, if you step over there on that field, you, they will go off. They, the bombs will explode. Please don't do this. Ah, oh, motherfucker, I can do what I want to do. The fuck? I can go over there on that field if I want to. Uh, you don't tell me what to do. You ain't the boss of me. You go about your damn self. Sister, I'm really trying to warn you. If you step foot on that field, you will get blown Two bits. Please listen to me. See, this is the problem with y'all niggas. Y'all always trying to control the woman. I can go wherever I want to go. The world is mine. Don't you know the black woman is God? I can walk anywhere I want to walk, walk on this damn green earth. You don't tell me nothing. Okay, sister. Go ahead. Go ahead. I said go ahead. And guess what? Her ass... And all her damn friends get to switching all over to the damn bomb field. Like, yeah, nigga, see, we the real women. We can go over the bomb field and we ain't going to get blown up. We protect it. They take their ass over there and they're two inches away from stepping the toe on the damn field bombs. The bomb field. They, they this close. Now, the men already warned you. You're going to get blown up. See, the women, they listen. They're like, well, damn, let me, let me keep my ass from over there. I ain't going over there. But see, the real women, they think they're so strong, independent, and protected that they take their ass over there. They this close. They put their damn toe on the damn bomb field. Five of them go off. Five bombs go off. Boom, 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 boom. Bitch is getting blown up. Left and right. Like, damn, on some smoky shit. Damn. Let's say 50 females get blown to bits. Let's say it was a hundred of them that walked they proud, brave, strong, independent, real women's asses over there. Half of them got blown to 
bits. They still over there. They're like, well, they, they, they shook now. They saw their friends get, get exploded. Right? They standing there. They're like, damn. Woo, we already on the damn uh, bomb field. Uh, what the fuck do I do? I oh, don't know, girl, but if we move, we, we another one might go off, girl. I'm scared. I'm scared, girl. If we move, we, y'all already there now, though. Y'all just, y'all just froze, stuck on the damn bomb field after they told your ass not to go. Now you stuck on stupid, just look, just looking around, looking across the street at the women being protected by the men, and the men just standing there like, up. Oh, I told y'all ass. I told him, I tried to motherfucking tell you. Mm. And they just standing there. They scared to move. Either way they go, if, if I try to step off the field, I, bomb's still going to go off. If I step any further onto the field, bomb's going to go off. I'm, it's too late now. I made my motherfucking choice. I made my bed. I gotta, I gotta be stuck on stupid. So now I'm looking across the street at the, at the men. Y'all need to protect us. Why y'all not protecting us? See, these niggas don't do shit for us. We have got to understand, ladies. Sometimes that constructive criticism. Sometimes those warnings are the protection. Bars. Well, y'all just gonna stand over there? Y'all ain't gonna come up here and protect us? Don't y'all see bombs going up? Don't y'all see half of the damn crew just got blown to bits? Y'all not gonna come up here and save us? No, no, I'm not. Are you dumb? I told you don't do it. Now you want me to risk my life to save you from some shit that I told you initially not to even do. So if I were to be that strong, powerful, da -da -da -da, Captain Saver Ho from a bomb, I'm going to get blown up. I'm going to get blown up in the process of trying to save you from your own dumbass decision when I told you don't do it. And let's say I do carry my ass over there because we do have some simp lollipoppies, some easy suckers, easy licks that will uh come on guys we gotta go over there and save them i mean they, they didn't know no better you know women's is like children and so we just gotta save them it's our fault anyway we should have had more authority we should have had more masculinity it ain't they fault as women we should have did better they no no absolutely the fuck not when daddy tell you don't do something don't you listen as a child you're supposed to Come on, she ain't no better. It was your fault. No, it wasn't. You told her don't do it. You told her the consequences. You told her what may happen, what will happen. It will emphatically, if you take your ass over there, those bombs will go off. She did it anyway. You did your job. You can't make nobody do shit that they don't want to do for them damn selves. Man or a woman. Come on, God, let's go over there and say, they, they didn't know. They didn't know. So here comes dunking it on, simp lollipoppies, easy licks and suckers to save the female from the bomb field. He take his ass over there with a plan and everything. Okay, ladies, follow my lead. I'm not going to lead you. I'm not going to lead you astray. I got you. They want to follow your shit after the fact. Simp Lolly Poppy, you, you probably even told her, don't, hey, baby, that, that's probably not a good idea. Don't do that. I don't think you guys should go over there. Can you just, just... and she told you, nigga, please. 
Now you got to protect her from herself, yet still. So you take your ass over there trying to save her and all her damn friends from being blown up. And let's say you come up with a great plan to help them get off of the bomb field. But in the midst of you doing that, you step your ass over there and you get blown the fuck up. You saved the rest of them. You step your ass over there, you got blown to bits, sir. Captain save a hoe from the bomb field. Guess what those females then do? After you get blown up. They go to another fucking bomb field. So what did you really just accomplish? What did you really even do, sir? They didn't learn the lesson. What, what are y'all doing now? Oh, we going over here. We going over here now. Damn, didn't y'all just... Stop trying to tell us what to do. That's the problem with y'all now. Don't you, didn't we tell y'all the first time we strong and independent? We don't need y'all help. We protected. We can lead ourselves. We don't need y'all. Now, Saint Lollipop, you didn't die in vain. What, what was it even for? If she wasn't going to learn the lesson. This is why real men, authentic men are saying, I'm not protecting you so I can get blown up and you still do the same shit and you still not respect my authority. You, you still not respect my warnings, my constructive criticisms, my leadership, my wisdom. My knowledge, are you still not going to do that? My masculinity? Hell no. Save your damn self. I'm going to protect these women that stay behind and listen to me. Because they're ultimately going to protect me as well. By not placing me in, directly in harm's way on purpose. See, this is why it's important for men to also choose women that don't mind being quote unquote submissive. And I know a lot of women hate that word, but it's really not a bad word. Go and get my book. Okay. Submission is not the enemy. This is why it's very important for men to choose women that are submissive because she's going to uh, listen to you, respect you. And she's going to keep everything in alignment. She's going to keep everything on track. But if you have a woman that's not trying to listen to you, she's not going to heed any warnings from you. She's not going to follow your direction. And if you're with that type of woman, you're going to have to protect her. Right? See, so it's easier to protect a submissive woman that listens to you. But if you're with a woman that's not listening to you, not respecting you, and is not submissive, she, she's going to always place you directly in harm's way. And as her man, you're going to have to step up to the plate to save her every time. And again, this could be placing your life, your livelihood, your foundation, your work at risk every time. You can lose it dealing with this type of female. So it is very important for men to choose wisely when it comes to, you know, women listening to you. You have to choose a woman based upon her being on your on code with you, with your program that cooperates. It's imperative. It is non-negotiable. If you don't get with a woman like that, you're you're risking it all every day. Because the moment that she places herself in harm's way, as her man, you have to save her. You following me? You marry this woman, that's your wife, the mother of your children, you have to come through and dunk it up and save that ass. So it's important. You don't want no bomb-filled ass chick. <laughs>